Hello again everybody, uh, 18F4550 videos here, and I figured uh, today I would download the Windows 10, uh, let's see, I'll bring it up here, here's the system screen, uh, the Windows 10 Pro Insider Preview, and this is about as current of a download as you can get, I downloaded this yesterday, it's currently uh, Saturday, June 6th, so that would have been uh, Friday, June 5th I downloaded this, uh, 2015 of course, and uh, I'm really kind of... Uh, surprised in a good way about how similar this is to Windows 7. There won't be too much adjustment, I, I don't think, for most people. Um, I'll just kind of give you a quick uh, tour here. The start button is uh, back, fortunately, and it has these tiles here. I don't find I use these all that much. Um, this menu is a little different than Windows 7, kind of takes some getting used to, but anyhow, if uh, there often seems to be the Windows 7 uh, menus, for example, are kind of hidden here or there. So, for example, if you right-click on the Start menu, then you can go to a lot of this will look very familiar. Like if you choose Control Panel, this looks pretty much the same as the Windows 7 Control Panel. But uh, kind of getting off topic here. Anyhow, um, I figured I would go through all the steps in the four cheat sheets for the OpenCV 2.4.11 uh, installation, and I did that. And um, there were only two things I ran into the entire time that were any problem whatsoever. And one of them was this message here. Uh, QT untested Windows version 10 detected, but it still works uh, Works fine. Here's one of the QT programs running. Uh, same, Just use the same image as before. And then the only other problem I had was uh, my log Logitech webcam I couldn't use yet because the software to configure it that Logitech makes isn't yet uh, ready to um, work with Windows 10. But th that was really minor. Fortunately, I had a built-in webcam on uh, this portable computer that I'm using here, which is an older one, and that worked just fine. Um, in fact, even Expression, uh, Microsoft Expression uh, Encoder, which is what I use to uh, record the videos, worked fine, and Windows Movie Maker, uh, <clears throat> which is what I use to uh, record and uh, rather to edit the videos, that also worked fine. Um, so uh, pretty much anything as far as uh, the whole process beginning to end for OpenCV seems very promising on Windows 10. It doesn't look like there's going to be a lot of compatibility concerns there. Uh, the instructions were really I could follow all four of the cheat sheet instructions almost exactly as they were written for Windows 7 with only very very minor variations in the menus here or there. So um, on to some other projects and I just thought I'd pass this along if anybody else is planning on upgrading to Windows 10 as soon as it comes out at least based on this I'll bring the system screen back up here at least based on this version here the Windows uh, 10 Pro Insider Preview um, as of this date it really looks like it won't be much of a concern at all so hopefully this has been helpful to uh, some folks out there and I'll see you in the next one